was calling Haggerty. Sort of around sunset, we were hanging out in the barn and uh, got a text from my friend's dad that he was hearing noises. So we went over to the porch, listened, and we heard like howls in like intervals for like two or three minutes. And we look out into the tree line and there's this big thing walking. There yeah, oh, it's right there. It's right there. Holy I'm on it. Holy I am getting excellent video of this. I start freaking out. We're all kind of in awe because it's just right there. It's turning its head. Is it looking at us? Oh, it just turned back. Where is it? Whatever this is, it seems too big to be a human. So naturally, we think of Bigfoot. But there's something about this one that's different. It doesn't seem as shy as the Bigfoots that we've seen in the past. It doesn't seem to mind people watching it and shining lights toward it. It just ambles along. It's not in the woods. It's out in an open field where it can be uh, seen and uh, documented. Guys, do not go towards it. Now, the people who see it are all, oh my God, what's that? Don't go over there. There's a definite panic, so it's clearly not just some other person walking in the field. It's foreign enough that they're all taken aback by it. I lost it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Keep the light on it. You can't even comprehend what you're looking at because you hear of Bigfoot, you only see like a couple videos online, something like you see a head or maybe an arm or something. Whereas we're looking at this entire thing and like your mind is just asking you so many questions that you can't even answer. Like, is this thing real? Does this mean all those videos are real? What is this thing trying to do? And that wasn't even the last encounter Haggerty and his cohorts had with a potential Bigfoot. Two months later, another creature roamed the same stretch of land. Oh, there it is. We've seen this thing before. Dude, what is that? It started off the same way. Um, we were hanging out with my friend's family, so there's probably 12 people there. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, it's Can someone get the flashlight? There's this big black hairy figure, and uh, my friend's dad's brother uh, yells out at him. Hey! Hey! and it starts walking towards us. Hey! Oh, that's a <laughs> Which is like the most freakiest thing I've ever experienced. This isn't a game. There are not that many instances of hostility in Bigfoots. They're often seen in a retreat from a witness. They're shy and they like to uh, keep their distance. Oh my god. If it is in fact a Sasquatch type creature, it's not behaving the way it should. It almost behaves as if it's ill or just attracting attention rather than trying to avoid it. I was genuinely scared for my life, like honestly. Uh, and I was scared for everyone's safety because when something like that's running at you, like you just go into survival mode. Eventually, the creature wandered off again. There was a couple of people that were trying to debate whether we should follow it or not. And I was like, you don't want to follow that thing after what, that, after what just happened. My heart is pounding right now. But given the location of the sightings, there is no doubt that these types of close encounters will continue. I've spent enough time in the Pacific Northwest to know that there are a lot of Bigfoot-themed restaurants, uh, stores, museums. A lot of people believe because it's just part of their folklore, it's part of the fabric of their culture. I would imagine many people in Oregon and those states have seen a lot of weird stuff that they probably don't even tell anybody. A lot of times people see these things and they don't want to tell anybody. They're afraid to like actually admit that they saw something they can't explain. Oh my God, oh my God. It's coming over here. Looking at this thing, I mean, above seven feet, at least 400, 500 pounds. Like walking in a field, you're just in shock and awe. Hey! Hey! Oh, that's a great. Oh my God.